Juries in personal injury cases occasionally award money for plaintiff's pain and suffering. But is pain and suffering compensable in contract cases? In the 1973 case of Sullivan v. O'Connor, the Supreme Judicial Court of Massachusetts considered that very question. Alice Sullivan, a professional entertainer, sought plastic surgery on her nose to improve her appearance. Dr. James O'Connor, a plastic surgeon, promised that with one or two operations, he could make her nose more attractive. But after the first surgery, Sullivan's nose looked worse than it did before. A second surgery didn't improve anything, and Alice underwent a third operation, also to no avail. Alice then sued Dr. O'Connor for malpractice and breach of contract. A jury found for Sullivan on her contract claim, but also ruled that O'Connor hadn't been negligent. The jury then considered the question of damages. The parties had stipulated that Sullivan's out-of-pocket expenses totaled $622. But the judge instructed the jury that they could compensate Sullivan for pain and suffering arising out of the third surgery. The jury then awarded Sullivan $13,500. Dr. O'Connor appealed to the Supreme Judicial Court of Massachusetts. 